in this uh, Reba Viva joint. Uh, a lot of people saying it's the African version of the City of God. Would you agree with that? Well, some people say that. And uh, it's got some similarities, you know, because uh, the atmosphere, the environment where the, uh, the, the film actually takes place, where the action in the film takes place, is not like a very urban one. It's not like a, a very sophisticated city like New York City or the other city in the world. It's, you know, it's it's this environment with uh, with the sh it's kind of a shanty town with uh, with some uh, what the Brazilians would call favelas, for instance. Uh, so it's 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 similar in that way, in the sense that the people that the movie depicts is actually from a very low social standard, you know, and there's a lot of criminality involved, and uh, in that sense, the film could be compared with City of God. Yes. Right. Now, you're born and raised in uh, Angola, correct? I was born and raised in Angola, yes. That's correct. All right. Now, how does that play into uh, what we're going to see in this film? Well, my character plays this Angolan guy. My character, Cesar, he is, he used to be Riva's boss. Uh, Riva is a Congolese guy that uh, moves to Angola like many other Congolese did because of the war, because of poverty, whatever. Uh, he moves to Angola to try to make life over there. So he gets in touch with these people with whom he becomes an associate. And uh, I am one of these people. I am his boss. And then a couple of years after, like 10 years after, Riva returns to Kinshasa. He is going back to Kinshasa with a truckload of gasoline. Uh, the thing is that that gasoline isn't his. He stole it from me. Oh my goodness, he stole some gasoline from you. From his boss. Okay. Which is a very violent kind of individual. You know, you have to be really tough in order to survive in the crime criminal environment in countries like Angola or the Congo. You know, Angola and the Congo are countries who have been suffering from a war or from wars, civil wars for the longest time. So for a criminal to survive in that environment, he has to be really ruthless and really skillful so this is kind of my character and of course i am not pleased with the fact that this guy that you know i had this wonderful relationship with uh, i raised him almost you know i gave him shelter when he didn't have anywhere to go he was coming from this uh, foreign country and you know this guy takes my property betrays my trust and uh I gotta do something about it. Right, you're not having it. It's going down. <laughs> this guy is gonna, he's gonna get himself into a lot of trouble. So my character goes to the Congo, searching for the guy and trying to return the gasoline. And uh, this is how I play. You know, I am this Angolan uh, crime boss 
who goes to the Congo in search of his stolen goods and try to get some kind of revenge from this guy who betrayed his company. Okay, OG, we don't want to give too much of the movie away. We want people to go to the website and, and to log on to Twitter at Viva Riva DC. Uh, there's going to be official uh, party going on on June 25th. Uh, free tickets and uh, you have to hit the uh, the Twitter account for all that information. That's Viva Riva DC on Twitter. I believe it's going to happen on June 24th at the E Street Cinema right here in DC. Are you going to be coming down for that? I am going to be there, yes. I, I received an invitation from uh, this association of young African professionals. Uh, they organize this monthly event in D.C. So his ne their next event is going to coincide with the release of Viva Riva over there. And I am going to be there, and I am going also to be at the screening of Viva Riva and you know, have some time, some good time, and a couple of words with uh, these people. Because this is really a great project. It's, is a, a great project, it's a great achievement for Africa and you know we really need to support it and to continue giving our people inspiration to make you know things happen because it's not easy you know. Uh, Congo doesn't have a film history for the past like 30 years and this is the first big uh, production that comes from there and they actually becomes this international hit. He got distribution in the United States, the first Congolese film to get distribution in the United States. And, you know, it's simply amazing. You know, it's a co-production of sorts of different countries. There is all different uh, African characters in it. And it's, 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 it's an amazing thing. So I really think we all, we, not just Africans, but everything, everybody who cares a little bit about Africa should really go and see this movie and support it. You know, we got to make this a big event so that other movies coming from Africa can trail the same path. Right, so you guys are trying to be uh, the jump off. You guys are trying to be the springboard for other great, film to great films that come out of your country, correct? This is a global world, man, and we gotta put a signature out there as well. Okay, well of course we talked about the City of God and it all started out in Brazil and that has become like a, a legendary film and it, from what I'm hearing a lot of people are saying that this film also has the possibility as well as being a legendary film. Do you feel that as well? Yeah, I think so. I think so. So far, uh, the paths that the movie been given, uh, you know, uh, have been leading me to that same conclusion. This is not a random event. This is something big and I believe there is more to come for this film now OG before we wrap up we want to give the information to the people one more time there will be a uh, filming of this right correct Chris you can see this movie Riva Viva at the E Street Cinema right here in Washington DC on June 24th June 24th June, June 24th you can you can also see it in the next days but the opening is going to be on June 24th at the East Street Theater in D.C., Washington. There you go. And the Twitter account is Viva Riva DC. That's Viva Riva DC on Twitter, right? What's up, Chris? Go ahead. Don't, don't talk about that yet. Okay. All right. Before we wrap up, uh, one more thing I'd like to ask you because, uh, you know, we don't see a lot of films coming out of the Congo. You know, what are we going to see that we haven't seen before? Well... I believe you will have to check for yourself and you will have to make that answer for yourself. But I can tell you one thing, this film is going to mark you in a way. You will not get out of that theater uh, indifferent, you will not get out of that theater uh, as if you just went to see another movie. No. It's really strong. It's strong, it's intense, it's from everything I've been seeing so far in terms of African film, this movie, uh, even though you can still see the, uh, the African environment, the social reality, which Kinshasa is, is, is a remarkable place, it's a very, very intense place in terms of the social reality people live up there. Uh, you will see all these elements that you usually see in, uh, in African films, but you're also going to see a huge amount of entertainment in it. I believe the director tried to combine this documentary kind of shooting, trying to portray a little bit how life is in Kinshasa, but also try to give the audiences something to have fun with. So, uh, in that sense, he did it in a very unique kind of way, and that's the reason why the movie's been getting all these awards, you know, he just won the MTV Movie Awards for Best African Film, 
for the first first time in history, MTV actually decided to create a category in their awards for African film, which is a great thing. And I believe wow. Viva Riva had something to do with that. Congratulations. So, you know, all these awards are just a recognition of, you know, the hard work that was put into this film, the, uh, the outstanding uh, uh, shots, the outstanding cinematographic work that Joe Munga was able to do with this film. And, you know, I don't think there's really too many words uh, to describe that. You just have to go and see it. And then I believe you'll agree with me once you see the movie, when you come out of the theater, you know, you're going to see it's, it's really something special. All right. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Of course, this is OG, one of the uh, main dudes in the film, uh, Viva Riva. For more information, go to Twitter right now. That's at Viva Riva DC. That's at Viva Riva DC for more information. And we will see you at the film. Thank you so much for your time, bro. My pleasure, my man. All right.